Hello, Pisces. Thank you for coming in today. I'm going to be looking at your cards. If you guys are interested in sage, spiritual candles, shea butter, t-shirts, anything that I have on my website, you guys, you could just look down below. My description shows a lot of my information. If you're trying to schedule with me, just text my phone. You can watch this for any placement in Pisces. There's your new beginning here. Some of y'all could know a scorpion too. Okay, it's an overall energy. I see somebody has some recent issue with a with an Aquarius, I feel. Someone uh ended something here too. Okay, and some type of conflict went away here. We got fire and air. I see heavy commitment here. Taurus energy, blockages. Negative air energy showing up here again. Let's see what this is. I see a new start here too. Abundance in someone at a crossroad as well. So, for those of you thinking about commitment, I feel like some of you want to do this. You want to do the right thing. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like either you're going to become defensive or that person is going to become defensive. If you're blocking somebody right now, it may be some type of block connected to either a Taurus, Virgo, any earth sign or, or or Libra person right now. Okay, Somebody could have some type of block with them getting pregnant around this time too. All right? There could be some issues, some infertility going on here. I also feel that with the air sign, I don't feel like you want to work towards the situation because that person has an attitude. You're just like, no, I don't want to do that. So some of y'all want to start something fresh but when you start something fresh you're still going to be feeling a little bit bored okay and some of you are at a crossroad about backtracking going back to a ex or something like that going back to somebody that you care about okay um some of y'all could be connecting with other people that have water in their chart or some of you may want to you know just spill the beans on yourself and tell on yourself you know i see confessions here somebody might want to be like fuck it i was doing this okay or some of y'all could be going back in the past to try to figure out what somebody's doing too okay um what is happening i see what kind of energy am i seeing today for y'all man Oh, somebody's taking a break so they can think about what they want in their life right now. Okay. Some of y'all were recently around either earth signs, water signs like yourself, or air signs. The conflict that you might have been experiencing with like air energy, like Gemini Libra Aquarius, that might go away. Okay. But you use your intuition though, Pisces, when it comes to you just taking a break from something. You need this break. You really do. Hey, whatever you stop recently, you need to do it. You know what's going on when it comes to like uh you being stuck with no no closure here. Okay, some of y'all might know something about somebody like a Scorpio as well. You're gonna end up making a decision and probably about an Aquarius, I feel. Some of you are definitely going to heal, or somebody you were connecting with is going to heal from something too. And I feel like you're just getting out of your head. You want out. Of your head there might have been some conflict going on if you were dealing with an Aquarius I feel like either you don't want to commit to them or they don't want to commit to you or somebody could be still messaging an Aquarius either they're saying something to you or you're saying something to them I do see that some of you were dealing with a fire sign that might have been in and out of your life or you might have just had some type of reunion with somebody. I feel like somebody knows what's going on with somebody. I feel like somebody's secrets have been revealed. Um, I also feel like somebody's trying to come towards you, okay? Somebody with either water energy or Gemini energy. Some of y'all may need to make a choice between two people right now. 
Um, some of you are holding on to your money or you're holding on to some type of contract. It could be a marriage or whatever you are into. I see separation here from either a Taurus or Aries here. Somebody may be walking away from a relationship that has bothered them so much. If you're deal dealing with Aries, I feel like you might have manifested this person into your life. It could have been somebody that you had past energy with. If you were dealing with Virgo, I don't feel like you're going to be cool with a Virgo right now. That person either is spying on you or you're spying on them. And I see a lot of stress connected to Virgo energy or just wanting to leave a situation behind. But it looks like this air sign wants to still communicate with you and you are tired of dealing with them. If this person hurt you before. You don't trust them. Okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like there may be some problems connected to money with that person. Uh, there's love there, but there's like something good that might come out of it, but it's very small. Okay? If you're dealing with fire signs, period, I feel like you're holding on to something that you're not going to get. Somebody could end up going to court or to jail or something connected to Pisces situation too. So just watch what you're doing around this time. But some of you are settling for a situation. Okay. Uh, somebody could be settling for money, settling for some type of option they have, or somebody is just ready to move away from something. Okay. Somebody just feel like they can do better. Okay. Somebody could even be settling for their home at this time, but they're like, oh, I don't want to be here. I need to go somewhere else. Okay. I don't know who's reading this is but honey i'm seeing so many messages all right a lot of you are feeling successful in your life though you are feeling like you have the money you're doing the right thing but you're going to start seeing the truth in people around you okay you're going to see where you have no closure you have no closure on the situation involving air energy something is making you stay in your head a lot and when you take a break from things like conflict, you're going to see what's going on around you. It may have something to do with commitment. It may have something to do with a Taurus for some of you. I see a new beginning here where somebody's going to get blocked. Either you're going to block somebody or they're going to block you. And I see someone indecisive about uh, saying something to somebody at this time. Somebody feels used or they feel like they're doing everything by themselves. And somebody doesn't want to explain anything right now. Okay, they're turning their back on conversations and somebody's losing hope in a situation. Somebody's losing hope on having a child. Somebody feel like they'll never have a child. They keep having miscarriages or there's infertility going on to the point that it's like, you know, something that's just blocking them from having this success. Okay, either somebody wants to make them get an abortion or something like that. Or somebody's just like, oh, I can't have any more kids because my tools are tired or something like that. I'm getting Aquarius energy here. Aquarius energy be very negative. If you're dealing with a Virgo, it's not going to work between you and this person. If you're dealing with a Libra, it's not going to work with you with this person. If you're dealing with a Taurus, that person is going to make you bored. But also, there could be somebody who start connected to you in this person. But somebody's at a crossroad about this new start with Taurus, okay? And somebody could end up walking away, okay? There's too many secrets connected to you and Taurus, and there's sadness here. Or somebody's turning their back. Somebody's turning their back connected to a situation with Taurus. So, let me see. I see. There's some, there's some type of block here. You keep moving forward. It's like you're stuck. Something could be ending around you too. Whether it's your home life, your marriage. Somebody could be acting manipulative and not loving you the right way. Things may speed up in some areas too, but you're still not getting what you want. And watch your finances too. Don't overspend around this time. Some of you waiting on this fire energy to come in, okay? 
Some of you just feeling like something is not a good option for you. You think something is a burden, but you're still at a crossroad. It could be about money, and it could be about relationships around this time that you're at a crossroad about. Some of you are jumping on something to figure it all out for yourself. Now, back to this fire sign. You're dealing with a fire sign. You might even think about walking away from them. I see third-party situations around the situation or too much drinking or something. Or you may feel like you're not getting enough out of the situation. Okay? Not enough money. Not enough love. It could be third-party situations connected to it. It looks like somebody hurt you. And now you're just like, I don't feel the same way about them. Okay? We got the seven of swords and we got the three of swords reversed. Okay? And we also have the three cups reverse so something is not right in relationships is looking very nasty here we got water energy and air energy so somebody has air placements and water placements it's not looking good so you're just trying to clear your mind. You don't want to think of anything in past life right now. You're like, oh, this is not good. Um, and somebody's still coming in with some negative energy, which is air. And I feel like that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming in, negative. Some of y'all are going to feel stuck in the past with something. And somebody, you're going to feel like somebody wants too much out of you, too. Some of y'all are going to feel that. So, somebody might hear from somebody very negative. It could be a child. It could be someone, Gemini Libra Aquarius or Fire, whatever it is, okay? Whatever news this is, is coming in, you know, negative. Um, and I feel like there could be some money problems for somebody too. Like I said, don't overspend. Some of y'all are going to notice what you have been spending. And some of you are kind of like stuck in a cycle here. Okay, or somebody being negative, or you're just feeling like you got to make a decision about your home, your family, or something like that, or reunion, celebrations, or it wants. You're just feeling, I feel all this stuck energy. Somebody feels stuck. There's delays around the situation, and you're trying to be so nice here. You're trying to. Whatever you do get, I feel like it's going to put you back. You know, to the point where you can, you know, do it all by yourself. You, you're you going to just notice where you're not winning. You're going to notice that when you turn your back on something, you're going to be like, oh, whatever I'm turning my back on right now, I'm just feeling like it's not there. It's not there. That's what I hear. Low communication is here. You're all about getting rid of slow communication. If somebody's not saying that to you, fuck it. If you ain't saying that to them, you like, fuck it. You know, so at this point... You're not going to be jumping up on this. You, you, you're you trying to avoid this fire energy. And you're definitely thinking about walking. Okay. Eight of Cups. When you get the Eight of Cups, I mean, there's some sadness that's pushing you out of a situation. All right. Pisces. Now the right away. I mean, not the right away, but the Romance Angels already did it down right away. What's happening here with the romance angels today? The Pisces. Any placing in Pisces. Yeah. Express your love, okay? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you need to speak your mind. Tell this person that you care about them. Tell them how much you fucking care about them. Unrequited love. There's no unrequited love in this situation. Somebody loves you. Somebody definitely cares about you. Or you really care about them. Getting to know each other and then reverse. Maybe you already know the person already. Or maybe you're not ready, you know, to do that yet. Retreat is not a time to retreat yet. Nope. Healing family issues. Okay, so there needs to be some type of family issues healed here. Okay? Whether this is you or the other person, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Somebody had some problems with their parents or something, right? Children. Children is definitely involved in this situation. Like I was saying earlier, your love life is being affected by children. Either you can't have children or somebody's children is involved in something. We got deception here. Somebody's lying. Somebody's wearing a false mask in a relationship. Pisces. Keep an open mind. 
Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Do you fall for the same type? Okay. That's not your soulmate. <laughs> past life relationships. There's some type of disconnected feeling with a past life situation. You make the effort. It keeps pushing you forward to, you know, go towards something. Okay. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So go ahead and make an effort, you guys. There's great love out there. You know, just take the steps. Do not waste your time on nothing that's bothering you. And, you know, if you ain't remember nothing else I said, you know, don't waste your time on shit. You know what I mean? Whoever is bringing you down, you know, you need to make a decision about that or speak your mind towards them. Tell them how you feel. You know what I mean? Have a good day.